the Rutgers, Scarlet Knights, Greg Schiano back. I mean, can we even call it year one? I guess, you know, he, I give him uh, not necessarily the same. He doesn't fall in the same bucket as Mel Tucker for me, both with his hire and also from his built-in institutional experience, but still the Scarlet Knights as a team, uh, you know, they were a, a little bit of a, an AAU team. You know, this is a group that they tried to cobble together as best they can. And you start to look at the way that Shiano is handling business. He's trying to build a foundation with proven players such that then he can go to the recruiting trail and really establish some program development. It just doesn't seem to be uh, the real goal for the Scarlet Knights right now. Now there, there was success. I mean, with three wins, this is a Rutgers team that had uh, more conference wins than everyone in the division, except for Ohio state, Indiana, and Penn state. You had more than Michigan, more than Michigan state, more than Maryland. So there is definitely some stuff to build on going forward. And then as we start to, uh, you know, break down what our, our big questions are going to be, I think that you want to make sure like we've got Noah Vidral, former Nebraska player, uh, Archer Sitkowski who's been at, uh, Rutgers for a long time. You want to see that group take a step forward, 11 starters back on the offensive side of the ball. And again, I, I kind of think that defensively they took a step forward with Chiano getting there. That shouldn't be a huge surprise. And they got, you know, eight starters back on that side of the ball. So while with Rutgers, is it a Maryland esque discussion where you look at uh, last year and say, hey, look, you know, like these things all seem to improve with the addition of Greg Chiano? Can't, is it fair to expect another step forward? Because as we know, especially in this division, uh, it is not always going to be linear. You're not always going to be able to go straight. You might have a team that is better, but has the same winning percentage. Uh, what are the things that y'all are looking for to try and pick up about this Rutgers team this year? I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see a step back in, yes. in 2021, because you know there was... It, in a way, it could be one of those situations where I think the future improves and the foundation gets a little more solid, but the results probably take a step back because I do think that part of last year and part of the victories we saw this team pick up last year are due to the situation that the, the entire division was in. And I think that, you know, Chiano brought in a ton of transfers trying to plaster over some cracks or holes in the wall just to to help make things look better as he tried to fix and, you know, to build some excitement around the program, which desperately needed some excitement. And I think that that was successful. I think that was about as successful as you could realistically hope for. Can you do that two years in a row? I'm skeptical. And I think that offensively, whether it's Noah Vidral or Art Sitkowski, there's just, there was such a lack of explosiveness in that offense last year, where I think as a team, they averaged 5.6 yards per attempt in the passing game. It was just, quick little short little passes whether that was what they how they believe in their quarterbacks or whether they believe in their offensive line being able to block long enough or how they feel about their players that they had at the receiver position I don't know that's for the coaches to decide it's just I don't see a team playing that kind of conservatively and stagnantly on offense having to put together long drives to score points or rely on turnovers to score points being able to maintain that again going into 2021. So I think we're probably going to see a step back. But again, I still think Rutgers is in better shape now going into 2021 than it was going into 2020 and definitely as where it was going into 2019. So it's heading the right direction. It's just, I don't think this is a quick fix. I, I think that this team could be a better quality team, but win fewer Big Ten games. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Tom was saying, right? Like they won three Big Ten games last year. I give them, I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll put a bet here. I'll, I'll give anybody five to one that Rutgers does not win three Big Ten games this year. Five to one? I'll give you five to one. I, I'm not taking it. Ugh, I'm not taking it. Damn. All right. <laughs> uh, so, Noah Vidral, uh, he had a 14 – quarterback rating gets man against man-to-man -man coverage so that that's also something to work on we were talking about Talia needing to be better against zone but he had a 50 against zone uh man 14, 14 QBRs it's very difficult uh to to do um yeah like look they were they were sort of smoke and mirrors at times last year I think the fact that they got in all these games was a major advantage it was a great growing moment for the program but like they were still outside like they were a bottom 100 team in college football can they get to like 90 or maybe 85th this year, that'd be a nice jump for them. But their schedules, 
within conference is not not that easy, and I I, I don't think they're going to win three conference games again. This is this is tough, man. They it, this is a seriously long term rebuild. Shiano's in it for the long haul. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean he's hey. I, this is this is not a spring spring practice question, but do you think Greg Shiano finishes his coaching career at Rutgers? Yes. How, how old is he? Early sixties. I don't think he's not. I think he's actually hold on. I don't think he's as old as you think for as long as he's been around. Yeah, he's 54. 54, okay. Mm -hmm. I Um, can see this being a destination for him. I mean, I I think that – I can't speak for him, but I think that, you know, based on what he was able to do at Rutgers the first time, he left, it didn't work out, now he's back. Maybe if they have that kind of success again this time and those kind of – like those opportunities come, he might say, nope, done that, been there, I'm going to stay here. I would say the only job I'd really be worried about at all is Rutgers. Well, that – okay, only two, Penn State and then Miami. Yeah. Because he, he is such a good recruiter in South Florida. Never mind. I don't even want to open that up. <laughs> what? What do you – oh, oh, yeah. I mean, can Penn State hire him? I don't know. Well, ten, I mean, Tennessee elected not to hire him based on rumors, based, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, if, if Tennessee – but then again, never mind. I don't. No need to relitigate uh, yeah. all of that here. Uh, let's let's get out of here. You can find.